in most of their losses, they've actually won their map choice. So on Inferno here, they'll hope to have a good chance as they execute onto this B site. Yeah, with the smokes down, we'll actually keep those CTs out for the moment. A very quick flank going to be coming in. Ships is able to spot it, though, and take himself at least one. The issue is it's immediately then traded Ooh. back. Esperanto, a little bit of a gamble pushing into the spawn right there, finds himself a quick double headshot. And I was going to say could now help Letney with dealing with that final player in construction, but instead he does move back. And we'll find that player towards Banana. A two on one, the man advantage again being found for contact. The timing there was just a little bit awkward for Otto. Eventually does peek back in. And yeah, now knowing exactly where Olaf is, they are actually finally given the room to get that bomb planted. But against Olaf, they do need to be careful. It could still be kind of difficult. But as I say that, tapping away on the Glock, Otto is going to have that final kill that they needed. And contact are going to be moving into B. It, as you said, just the distance of the scout normally can be quite dangerous, especially in the hands of phase players. I was going to say it's going to be hard, though, for them to do anything with those smokes down. Ryan, though, does still manage to actually get a couple of kills, give them a chance. Now, it delay is massively, especially. You can see the bomb as of yet to be recovered. Ships gets a nice kill over that uh, smoking towards the CT spawn, though. So with that, they should be looking pretty good. But there we go. Brokey on the scout instantly shuts me up. Auto's tagged up a bit as well. So for the Deagle and the Scout, that helps out massively. I am certainly a little bit afraid for Contact right now. Every time they get into B, this is the same as that previous round, where they are just slowed down, and they're just forced to keep taking fights. It does again go in their favor, but that's very worrying when they're going to be going up against full gun rounds in a little while. We're done towards mid, give themselves all of the options really open up everywhere on the map as a possibility. Brokey, though, going to stick around on short. Does manage to find themselves one with the up and then immediately falls back to support his teammate with that flash. You have, I believe, Cold Zero ready to hold on long. The flash was a little bit preemptive, so he at least was given the room to get around to the smoke, but as the T's eventually do pop out on long, you see Emmy getting one, you see ships then being able to catch that aggression in towards the apartments, and now Brokey's in so much trouble, pinned in the back of the bomb site with an op, getting double peaked. There was really nothing that he could do about that one. I think it's obvious that there's a, a bigger problem there. Not so far on Inferno, though. They've got a 4-0 lead all the way through a library. And because Contact are taking so much time here, the flank could very well come through. Nico's about to line up two players. Spray from behind. Good onto both men. Now Contact have got to quickly take control of this A bomb site. But there are plenty of players waiting for them. Olaf takes the first fight. And even though the bomb is planted, Contact are pretty much trapped here on short on the bomb site. And I feel like FaZe are very aware of that. They've got a player in pit. They've got players in all these positions. So they just have to focus on the site itself where Emmy. Maybe about to take some contact. Nico coming out from the apartment. So oh, this Molotov will clear out another corner of the site. And finally, Olaf pulls the trigger. Nico able to trade his teammate. And FaZe do a good job there at just staying fully in control of that retake. One could definitely be a question mark. No push on Banana this time for FaZe, though. They've only got one man there. So it's up to the fights over a long. And Esperanto wins the first one. Now they can push into CT spawn. Cold Zero is ready for it, though. He gets another kill in reply, and Esperanto caught with his knife out. Finally, Emmy finds the refrag, but he's alone with the bomb, and he needs that kill. Great shot from Emmy. That's a fight he had to win because he was alone with the bomb there, but he gets the instant kill and leaves it all in the hands of Brocky. Who is not going to have a good time. Yeah, ship's just creeping through the apartment, spots some... The pressure on their opponents with just the pistols. Contact uh, respecting it. They're going for a full B execute here, but Brokey, oh, quick shot onto the man, jumping. Brokey makes it two Ooh. kills. They can't cross to the site safely, but a second smoke for CT should allow them to get the bomb. They're being very cautious here, though, on the contact side, and there's a big gap in that CT smoke. That's something they're going to have to be aware of. Good work by Brokey, bringing it into a position now where the, the rest of his teammates do have a chance to move in. They have a smoke. They have the three deagles, and where Esperanto especially being low right now, this is still incredibly winnable for them. Brokey in towards the spawn though as he tries to peek in to maybe find a little bit more has been tagged down extremely low. Cold Zirida rips the head of ships off and Esperanto screw it. He's just pinned in the back corner. That just shows how winning one of those rounds can really change things as Cold Zira sits behind the smoke. Double spray down and he stops contact in their tracks with Brocky also getting a kill on the hold. Yeah, that works. That's a good way to pick it up. Cold Zero finding two through the smoke. Brokey even shut down the attempted apartments control as well from contact. We will eventually see Nico fall in there. Being cost still aggressive around Banana. But our player in the with auto, of course, being over towards the apartments. 
we're waiting to, I guess, see if anyone was trying to aggress around this area. And well, he's still trying to probe around mid, but the issue is his teammate is is just going to be dropped. Did Rain go true that smoke? Oh. There's always haters. Oh, Otto he's gets one. It's, he should be able to save just because you don't imagine anyone else on phase tries to hunt them. The only player who's kind of close enough was Olaf and off of the B bomb site, they're both in towards the spawn. Instead, Rain will try and take a bit of contact. Obviously, then they have to the boost up from Nico as well. Rain actually gonna go around the edge of the smoke. Okay, having an easy time so far. Finds himself the ace. I was gonna say that was a risky play, but he shut me up real quick. They seem to have some A smokes though, so that's good. A couple of smokes being deployed over the top here. One of them gonna land at A long, although there's a Molotov which will force them forwards. And wow, great shot from ships onto Brocky. That could be the opening into this round. Well, it, it is the opening into the round. The question is, can they capitalize on it? Can they manage to actually get the round win potentially off the back of it? And that's not too bad. A trade on towards Cold Zera. And with Olaf being two health right now in the P, he is in a lot of trouble. We'll at least be able to confirm one more kill for FaZe before he does go down. But it's given over the man advantage. It's given contact this bomb site, And very likely the bomb plant indeed, which will go down. And honestly, I thought Emmy was going to have that shot. But no, that's an issue. The op now has been dropped in the pit. It's only the Deagles that remain. They line up for Esperanto and he just spams away. Oh, but the flank now eventually coming down banana. They need to go quicker. They're going to be completely caught off guard from behind. Yeah, look at the time as well. Nico, that is not the first time we've seen this exact scenario where he runs down banana, has two free kills for himself. And this one is just crumbled for contact. Absolutely torn apart. The only casualty for FaZe is called Zira in the end. As I said, over on Long on his own. It just it really puts you on the wrong foot straight away. Nice nades at top Banana, though. Nico won't be flanking Banana this round because the nade stack has taken him out of the round. This is where they do have the weaker investment. It's been giving them a few openings, and they actually are going to bring it towards the B-bomb side for once. A little bit of a change up. The opening headshot from Esperanto. Will they expect another player in the back of the bomb site? Apparently not. Cold Zero pops out, but is only able to get the one, which is not going to be enough. Faye is again looking like they're going to drop around. Definitely in with a shout right now. Ooh. They wanted to go real quick on that control over towards Banana. Uh, they actually got slowed down by, I believe it was a Molotov initially. Tried to then force the player out of the corner, but Nico was here to help out Rain, and he just gets an instant double spray down. Small bit of team damage there being done. Oh, ships are trying to creep out of box, and he actually does get Olaf somehow. It looked more likely that he was going to be able to find Cold Zero over on Long, but nah, the other way around instead. Nico now has been able to find oh. the bomb. All right, Otto gets the wall bank. That actually lets him get onto the bomb site now. You can see it's a bomb plant at least. But they don't really care about that. With it being the final round of the half, all they need to do is win this one, bring themselves up to seven. And Otto right now is looking towards Banana. Spotted by the jump peak right there, but he's going to continue to peek in aggressively. Actually hits the leg shot on the first, and with the Tech 9, he does finish off called Zero, but unfortunately being swarmed by both of them. So we're likely just going to see this bomb going down, and then it being a five on five retake. And even with the defuse kit, that's a difficult position for contact to be in. They've got an incendiary as well as a smoke, so they have some pieces of utility which could help them here. And they're going to need to make the most of them as they start this retake. Smoke going down for Banana. Brocky taking this fight with the Glock. He's struggling, but he finally gets the kill he was looking for. That Molotov has landed, but the time is still ticking here. And the kills are not coming for contact. They just can't land the shots. Finally, Emmy gets one back. But they've got to get on the bomb right now. And Brocky keeps on fragging into a 2v2. But the time is so low. Letney instantly taken out of the round. And Cold Zero oh, is going it. in. Oh, no knife kill. Olaf trades it out with the Glock and everyone goes up in flames with the bomb. Safe start to the round for both teams. Banana control being gathered and Otto lands that shot. Second time he lands it again. Olaf doesn't even get to see an opponent in this round. He just gets spammed through the wall with two excellent shots. Oh, that's just... I, I don't know. That, that, that's just unfortunate for Olaf. He's going to be a little bit angry about that one, maybe. Been down into the four on five already, going to force them to make some decisions. Plans chances, having three players to deal with as they move into the B bomb site won't be easy. Nico, the man, currently looking for the entry kills. Oh, he gets that first and the follow up. Nico 
taking heads as he enters the B-bomb site. And Esperanto's rotate isn't relevant because he's stuck behind the CT smoke. So he can't assist on the hold on the site. Now Nico gets an AWP into his hands because he's low on health. And a 3v3 post plant with Nico going for more. A third kill on the round for Nico. He's made all the difference. But Esperanto's position is a very sneaky one. Nico is definitely a dead man. But Rain is just waiting behind triple box. Playing it patiently. Forcing contact to make the play. And Rain eventually gets the headshot he was looking for. It's all on Letney. And the time is against him at this point. Rocky gets the headshot. And FaZe pick up the round. So far, banana control has been pretty easy for FaZe, but this time there's a three-man B stack from Contact, so they're looking to fight for this banana control, and oh, Brocky just gets one straight through the smoke. Yeah, and Rain being able to find an opening as well as just giving them this A bombsite pretty much. It's all going to be on one man to defend. Lightning in the pit is able to get one. But Cold Zero dropping out from above is just a bit too much for him to deal with. It's going to be the A bomb site already gone. Contact haven't been forced to call for the save within just moments of the round having begun. Yeah, once this rap comes in, it's going to be so difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's not even going to spot it initially. Yeah. Otto, what the hell? Gets two of them. My Deagle would not reset that quickly. Rain hits him with a nice shot, but it was Otto who hit him with the nice shot, if you know what I mean. Olaf Meister does manage to recover a small bit there by getting Lightning, but there's still one more player on this bomb site they need to deal with, and it is the AK of Esperanto pops out for the double spray down, spins around to get Nico, and there it is. Contact, they get another round on the board eventually. Yeah, he's definitely been the, the main standout performer so far for contact and esperanto gets another kill at the start of this round unfortunately brocky already got the opening pick for phase and they are committing to this a bomb site so here we go let me with the awkward hit gets one kill before nico trades and those flash assists come through on both frags nico and cold zero with two entries onto the bomb site a very weak investment into what could be the final round to try and keep themselves in the matchup so this is potentially their last full gun round Phase. Olaf will just fight for banana control while the rest of the players look for some action at A and they're gonna go straight out through the apartments. Yeah, very quickly. Otto was full on blinded. He actually did hit the leg on towards Rain. I'm not sure if he hit that while blind or before, but either way, the main issue is that he goes down. His teammates are not able to find much either. The trades again are gonna go in favor of FaZe Clan. They wipe up the A bomb site defense, and but it's still not gonna be easy. If they lose this a week by in the following round, the fight to keep themselves in it and as soon as you see Brokey being able to take down Emmy, not nah, contact claim actually quite passive on B. It is just gonna be the straight up commitment. All five players were around there for the T side. Nico's actually gotten himself a team kill. That could give a chance back to contact. So yeah, Pranto trying to play through and see if he could find one to pull it back down to the three on three, but no, not allowed. Nico through the smoke there is gonna be able to finish him off and absolutely not. Letney's moving on in, he goes down, and Otto is sitting on banana. He really has got to get a move on if he wants to win, which is not looking likely at this point. Otto will try his best, but his best isn't going to be enough on this occasion. FaZe are about to take this map 16-9. Otto trying to pad some stats. Oh no, the knife, the knife. It's a swarm of players and it's a stab in the back. FaZe Clan take it 16-9 with a nice little knife at the end there. Favor of FaZe Clan. And here on Dust2, they're going to start with a good old B-Rush Dean. Yeah, keeping it simple, that is the goal anyway. They had dinked up Letney quite early on. It's unfortunately kind of been separated then on the push out, delaying that trade somewhat on towards ships, but they do still manage to overcome him. With that now, should be able to get on towards the bomb site and get the bomb down. The smoke in place is certainly going to delay those players, so it is going to have to be the retake, and for the moment, they don't have a kit in their possession. There is the smoke thrown in towards tunnels, which could in theory help them out, but for the moment, phase, they don't have anyone in the tunnels. They're all just ready to try and hold this one. Nico being the first point of contact after Cold Zero goes down, just tapping away with that USP. Unfortunately, not being able to get the final kill, but I was going to say has done enough, and in the end, he did. In pretty good positions. How many of them? I think a couple of them are still down in the spawn, though. So, yeah, unfortunately for those two, it's going to be difficult to actually contribute. The smokes weren't put in place, so that definitely give, it did give a little bit of a chance. But so far, it is FaZe managing to win out these trades, and it continues in that favor as well. There is Rain is going to be able to drop Lenny. A good bit of damage, though, is being done. So, you certainly can't count out, count out ships with the AK, nor Otto with that scout. And speaking of ships, he's already creeped out towards the ramp right now. Finds actually a double kill for himself. Just cleans it all up. Ships is insane. 
on Inferno. If they lose this, we could see a slow start here on Dust2 as well. Esperanto fighting. Takes two kills before he's traded. But that's another rifle recovered by FaZe Clan. Oh, instantly Ooh. put to use as well. Yeah, giving them yet another. It's going to be an AK in the hands of Rain, an AK for Brokey, the M4 for Nico and Rov. They may just not use their nades. If they continue to creep up onto the bomb site without being spotted, they can close the distance here. Oh, the timing is terrible for ships. He gets caught with no clue that the players are already pushed up through a long. And just like that, two kills for FaZe Clan. And the round should be done and dusted. The smoke is kind of keeping the vision away from the miter, so they don't know exactly what to expect on the other side of this bomb site. And Emmy's actually going to be the first one to force the contact. Takes the beacon towards the ramp, drops the bomb, and gives them an advantage on FaZe, who are still just kind of prolonging this push forward. It has taken so long for them to find any ground at all. Coldzera does what he can, as does Nico. Actually, it's a small bit of damage there with the wall bang, I believe. Unfortunately, not really anything substantial, and is now left with eight seconds. Back in with their own force buy, and... Neither of these teams wanting to give up control early on. It's going to be a very scrappy start indeed. Hopefully they can actually close out the follow-up round because both teams have struggled to do that so far. Nice nade onto Roki, but Ships goes too far into the open. Nico is waiting in the wings with the AK. He gets a kill and they're pulling the trigger here onto the B-bomb site. Team damage done by Letney. Oh no, he thought he was getting flanked from mid. It was his teammate trying to help him out, but he gave him a rude welcome to the B-bomb site. And surely this has got to be a save now. Yeah, it looks like finally you are going to see one of the teams being able to overcome one of those uh, weaker investments, potentially. Oh, sorry, no, it was FaZe. I forgot because it was the full buy. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, but the fact that they had such a strong investment, they will likely buy. I mean, they're looking at a double eco with at least a couple players. Oh, auto peaks up. Will he expect a second player on the bomb site? That's actually the op as well, so he ideally at this point just doesn't want to reface. Yeah, a couple flashes in trying to delay those players if they were up close. Faze have much more of a luxury with their utility though, using loads of nades as they move on to this A-bomb site. Four players pushing up through short, while Olaf lurks through mid. Otto gets one kill on the hole, but in comes Rain for the quick swing and the quick trade. Esperanto able to get one kill there, but Olaf is cutting off this rotate. Easy kill for the Swede. There's still action on this A-bomb site though. Esperanto has somehow survived this entire time. He's really slowed this down. He's really caused an issue, but finally they deal with Esperanto, and Olaf somehow turns that around. Letney thought he had him in the back, but it's not meant to be. It's Emmy with the Famas who's left alone, and he's got the first kill. Olaf is going to peak this. Emmy almost Gets a kill onto the second man, but Olaf survives on a slither of health, and now Emmy keeps on going. This Famas doing oh huge God, damage. Fun. It's part. It's safe. He doesn't have the kit, the though, kit. so Olaf can close the distance, and he's got a molly. He's not doing he it, though. No idea. He's not doing it. He's not moving. Even Sh if he threw the molly now, it wouldn't be good enough. There's not time. Balls of steel on Emmy, and unfortunately, Olaf making the incorrect decision. Looks likely to be a split onto this B-bomb site, and Ships has got the flank, but it's an MP9. Oh, it's a struggle, but eventually he gets the kill. Yeah, but the issue is the commitment coming into B in the meantime. It's not really that much of an issue as I was going to make it out to B because Otto just hits all of the op shots. And despite one trade being allowed back from Brokey. Yeah, especially as they're also trying to find the short control, which I mean has been kind of given to them. Not really the case. You do see need, need to see the CTs challenge in this position. Words come out. Letters come out. Nico, he's waiting for the bullets to come out of the op right there for Otto. And he manages to bait one out. That gives them the chance to pounce forward. Catches the headshot. Esperanto actually finding one in the meantime. And that nade is massive from Letney. It denies the bomb plant. It slows it down. And now it's a man advantage for the CT side as they work in. The bomb only now being planted. Brokey trapped on that bomb site with low health and as he's being pushed by both of those CTs, there really wasn't much of a fight that he could put up. At that point, they're still in contention of being able to make this a three-map series. Zerado going to creep out mid. Ships looked like he was ready for it. They might not expect the op to be also up close as well, but it doesn't matter. Rain's able to get the trade. Nico just lurking around. Short gets two, and this one's done. Letney's left alone on B. Sure, he gets that one kill, but now they realize that, and they're just sprinting that bomb up through the spawn over towards A. Look at their own money. Okay. okay. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that makes it uh, a bit easier. And now Nico's looking for a way back into this round. Oh, this is dangerous. He's moving in. Quick headshot onto the first man, just hunting down his prey. It's almost like he could smell Otto on the bomb site there. He knew exactly where to aim to get that kill. And Esperanto also caught in the back. Nico's not taking anyone 
lightly here as he gets two kills on 2A. And Contact have to try this retake, even if it's unlikely. Oh, wow. Yeah, they have to go for it. As you said, okay, well, it was unlikely. It's now become a lot more likely with that double kill on the MP9 being found by Emmy. He has the up as well, finds Nico on the cross, and now Olaf pinned in on that bomb site. One on two at this point, but he's already dinked up, and Chips is not going to let him get away with anything else as he confirms the headshot. CT side for FaZe and the T side for Contact. Let's see what they've got. Oh, it's the B-Rush. This is exactly what FaZe did on the pistol round. And Contact are taking a page out of their opponent's book. Moving into the B-Site. And Letney gets the initial kill. There's still a man at the back of the bomb site. Rain also fighting for the site. Oh, Rain with three huge kills. And now it's all up to Olaf to try and get these frags. And he's doing it. He gets it with the last bullet. And FaZe managed to deny the B-Play. That previous round is limited to having no nades, unfortunately, behind his AK. But overall, this is the buy that they do need to make work, and unfortunately, that's not a good start. The flash in completely blinded Esperanto. Nico was able to easily achieve the shot with the AWP. Rain nearly getting caught in mid. Actually takes quite a bit of damage, even a bit of spam as he backed off. But the MP9 is ready. Molotov through the doors, forced forward, and they've just given him the bomb as well. He was desperately searching for a gun to pick up. The E button was not his best friend there, but he eventually picks up the AK. And yeah, for what it's worth, Nico. Oh, wow. Okay, Letney gets a kill on Cold Zero over on the B site. I'll hold my point because there could be a chance. What is happening? What? Otto? What is going on? What is happening right now? Otto eventually gets flanked out, and Letney has it all to do. It's not going to happen for him. Brocky is in position beginning not able to connect and it does give contact a chance to move forward they were able to back those short players off with that push now mid rain though doesn't want to give them any room to move forward flashing true but cold zero is he falls on the b bomb site that's this round done is fine wow he has a, an ak with only 56 kills on the stat track it's fresh it's brand new Gonna need assistance, so the push coming in to this B bomb site. Cold Zero here to help his buddy out, but Brocky's mollied out of position. Cold Zero needs the trade, and he almost gets the double. But Ships is able to keep contacting control of this B site, and unless we see some quick kills for Phase, they're in trouble here. Olaf tries to do what he can, but it's not happening for them. They lose the B site again. And FaZe should probably save at this point, but the nade is going to land. That's a free kill onto Esperanto. In a 2v3, though, it's still not really possible, especially with another smoke for the doors. Put him here over these past few rounds. So how to FaZe now adjust to it? Uh, but we do have to give... Cross, though. Nico's not in the best position, but he lands the first shot. Smoke about to go down. The Molotov lands at car. Nico smokes it anyway. And now they're going to start to close in on his position. But Nico, oh, the flash was good, but he misses the shot. Gets it second time of asking. And Nico ducks back into the smoke. Somehow still alive. Nico firing on all cylinders right now. A third kill for him on the round. Nearly a fourth, but these Molotovs might be his death sentence. He's still going. Nico with a quad kill on the hold. And Contact just can't kill this man. Uh, let's not. Let's wait for Cold Zero to get into position here on this flank. Let him try and make a play himself and uh, eventually just have Nico peek out to go ahead and confirm the ace. On Nico, because they're not going to be happy with how that last round played out. But here we go. Nice kill, Esperanto, while blinded. And this B-site is continuing to be a problem. They can't do anything to stop this from happening. Resistance is futile on the B-site, apparently. Not a single kill for them. You can still hear me right there. I did kind of disconnect. Me from you're from you're a second. Right. The problem is they've used a lot of their own utility now. They only have one smoke and some flashes remaining at this point. And trying to flash in the peak on mid, it does end up costing them. Rain gets dropped by the op of auto, and that prompts what they're thinking is going to be a B split right now. But of course, that is not the case. They're actually going to bring it up through short. It didn't actually pull rotations off of A as of yesterday. They do still have two in position. Can they get revenge on Nico? The AWP this time holding on the A-bomb site. He's been mollied out, but Olaf's here to help him. Olaf only gets one kill on the hold, and Nico burns to a crisp. Otto's Molly gets the kill straight up. And now FaZe are going to have to save again. There's two players, as you pointed out, for FaZe that are looking to try and Ooh. challenge. Oh, did Esperanto not spot him initially? I think the gun actually may have been blocking it. The view model just a small bit. But with Nico, of course, being completely blinded, he still could manage to recover in time. Rain is then forced down into the spawn as well, actually getting tagged up quite heavily. Still finds a kill on Otto, but trying to swing back in. Too many players, they're actually peeking them, and Contact have done it. They've already confirmed the fifth round. Uh, I was going to say, they've already confirmed the 15th round. Ships was lurking out on B. Another smoke here, which he's going to drop on himself. 
Just sitting on the ramp. Here comes the push. Flashbang blinds Brokey. That was his teammate's flash, but the time is really, really low now. Esperanto gets a kill. Brokey eventually pulls the trigger, but it's not happening for FaZe. They try the retake, but try as they might. It actually didn't extinguish it. You see Letney getting borne down. Emmy taking a decent amount of damage as well. And yeah, FaZe have set themselves up. They have a good idea about where this hit of Chris is going to be coming in. At this point, as the bomb is just about to be planted. But they're losing players. Contact have already gone down into a three on five. They have no idea that Olaf is on the bomb site pretty much alongside Emmy. Smoke down the long flank from Brokey. And this round is done. FaZe have gone ahead and finally gotten themselves another to do so really convincingly. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Esperanto taps the head of Cold Zero towards the window. Brokey and Rain, though, pulling back three kills on mid. What the hell is going on? Rain cannot be stopped. Otto tried to swing in, but with the yop, he wasn't able to ring off the shot quite in time. Rain, he rains on the parade here of contact, as they are indeed going to be forced to fight. See a little bit of contact there, letting he bait it out the op shot, so he knows that they were pushing up at this point, but so far, no kills to be found. At least until Nico peeks in towards middle. It's not going to be very comfortable here with the orb. He's got to be in trouble. Shots landing and Nico's stuck behind that smoke. A long control is here for FaZe Clan and here comes Olaf. Oh, Letney, how does he not hear those steps? Olaf gets the flank onto Letney, catching him off guard. And now contacts have a lot of work to do to hold this site in a 3v5. Not going to be an easy task, especially with no utility at all. I think they have used everything yet. Yeah, none remaining. They end up getting blinded, actually, as the flash comes over. Long rain just has an easy time. ...side of the map, and Contact seems somewhat aware of that. They're moving up through short. Brokey's there to stop them, but Otto picks up the trade, and now the A site is compromised. This is going to be a free bomb plant for Contact. As soon as this molly fades. Oh, Rain finds Otto as he peeks into, in towards Long. Now that's given actually a really good position for FaZe indeed. And to ensure that that player crossing over Long will be challenged. But he was able to actually make it over without being spotted, I believe. On the bomb site, Cold Zero pops out from short and is going to take down Esperanto. And now it's all on Emmy. He's in such an awkward spot trying to get back up to stop that defuse. Interesting switch up of the orbs. Oh, wow. What a shot from Nico. Very quick on the trigger, spotting Esperanto. I was about to say that uh, Cold Zero, who had been orping, has given it over to Brocky this time. But I don't know if that's going to matter, because Nico's orp apparently is the one to watch, as Cold Zero's rifle also comes into play through the smoke. Nico lands a shot again. That's the bomb drops. And Nico hungry for more. He lands that shot just before going down. Great work again from Nico with the sniper. And Rain will tap away to close out the half. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Oh, the timing for ships. I was going to say he could pull one back. They're going to be caught off guard. He actually manages to get the kill. How the hell is Esperanto the one who dies there? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. FaZe have got to overcome a 2v3 then. Cold Zero and Brokey left in this one. Cold Zero solo pushing mid. Oh, ships was very low on health there. One shot would have done it. Cover so he can cross behind the car. Brocky's really trying to... Okay, then. Nice shot from Brocky. I was going to say trying to play the mind games here, but now he crosses to the bomb site safely just as Ships goes off the angle. Fake plant from Brocky. Second shot is good, and it's into the one versus one against Letney. Letney's flanking from long. Brocky's not ready for this right now. He's looking at short. Oh, Brocky, he does check long. He gets the information, and now Brocky is just going to go for it. He goes for the fight and wins it. Huge 1v3 from Brocky to close it out. Beautifully done.